that uh, we could do a, yet another track distribution outside this uh, examination center where my son also happens to be <laughs> finished his exams. Thankfully, uh, thank you for joining us. It's always an encouragement. Uh, today, this weekend, particularly the Christian community in India is talking about Graham Stain, the movie uh, made uh, in his memory about his life, uh, the least of these. Uh, right from Graham Stains comes a powerful motivation for evangelism. And, uh, I can think of uh, the distance he traveled from Australia all the way to Australia yeah. to Orissa. I do not know how many kilometers, but maybe several thousand. So maybe at least uh, 2,000 kilometers, yeah. no more than that, maybe thousands of kilometers traveling from the comforts of Australia all the way to one of the most backward states of India. The distance, uh, as believers living in cities and in, in, in big churches, I think the distance we need to uh, travel is from the four walls of the church to the to outside the church compound. Because outside the church compound is where the, lo the lost are. And that's what we did today, you know, to come over to this, uh, uh, just outside this uh, examination center and we could, you know, give the gospel in printed form to these parents and, and also the, stu the students, yes. So, when we get outside the comforts uh, or the confines of the local church, uh, you know, when we travel the distance, uh, you know, then we meet all the lost. And then, uh, the second thing that uh, happened in Ramstein's life was a delay. He landed in India in 1965. Uh, when he was 15 years old, my son's age, he saw a picture of Josiah Soren, uh, who was a person, a young man or woman, I don't not know, affected with leprosy. So that's when that, that picture became a missionary call. And I'm praying that people who watch this movie uh, would get a missionary call from that movie itself. Uh, he saw a photo and he got a missionary call and he became Graham Stains. And now we're going, we're going to see much better than that. We're going to see a movie made very professionally, so I believe more people will get a missionary call. Uh, but after he landed in India in 1965, from 65 to 1981, uh, I, I thought we, we don't have a detailed commentary about his romantic life. But what I read somewhere when I was reading about this, I was in Bible college when he was, that, that is a matter, uh, 1999 I was in SABC. Uh, so we did a lot of reading. I do remember uh, reading that men, women didn't want to marry him because he was a doctor to the lepr people with leprosy. And there was a great danger of you know him confined, getting... Up, getting uh, leprosy and there's a story about that uh, a, a Belgian a Roman Catholic missionary getting that uh, when he was uh, ministering among uh, the leprosy colony in, uh, in Hawaii on island of Hawaii uh, because he stayed and then one one morning uh, when he was doing the devotion he said my fellow lepers instead of saying my fellow believers because he himself had been, yeah so that danger was there for Graham Stenz as well so people didn't want to marry him uh, for there was a delay of almost uh, 15, 16 years for him to find a life partner. Uh, and I believe that the word delay is also very closely associated with evangelism. So when we do evangelism like this, sometimes we wonder, you know, sometimes we see a few tracks also lying down. Is this going anywhere? But there's a delay in the fruit because this is just, uh, we are sowing and sometimes we need to sow again and again. Uh, and But God makes it grow 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold. And only on the other side of eternity, uh, we will know the result. Uh, Recently, I made a post in my office room in my home, a home home office, uh, pictures of all altar calls. And, I, and then below, below that I wrote, only eternity will reveal how many people we grabbed uh, from going to Gehenna. Only eternity will reveal. But did we try? Absolutely. This is another attempt to, uh, to, to sow the seed. Uh, but the harvest will come a little later. So Bible compares evangelism to harvest many places. So the delay, distance delay, and then the, the discomfort. We know how exactly uh, he died when he was, uh, you know, traveling, and then he took a break and he slept, uh, he slept in a station wagon along with his two children who were Hebron uh, young children. And when he was sleeping in that station wagon, a mob of 50 people, uh, you know, attack came to attack him, and they said burnt him alive. Uh, no, he didn't stay in. A, he couldn't get uh, uh, get to stay in a hotel. He had to sleep in his uh, station wagon. Uh, he was ready to undergo any kind of discomfort for the cause of the gospel. He's an illustration of the verse in John chapter 12, verse 24. Unless a grain of heat falls down, uh, it will uh, not eat. Uh, yeah, or when a grain of wheat has to die, it dies. and it once dies. it dies, then, then it becomes yeah. a beautiful crop. So uh, he became an illustration for that.
So that's something we need to do. Uh, uh, in fact, before he died, he translated the Bible, New Testament, in the whole language, the tribal language, O-H-O, uh, 1997. And he also was involved in church planting. Uh, 19, New Testament was released in 1997. Two years later, he died. So even this, uh, this, this is gospel printed form. the old version as well uh, so that, that that's what we also do try to do in a in an imperfect way in a, in a small way uh, the new testament uh, the gospel portion if we give it we believe the word of god will work and for that we might have to go through many discomforts today exactly we the summer you know the, yeah. it's about 40 42 43 or perhaps even more uh, at least over 40 you know it's, it's hot but uh, we're more concerned about people going to uh, hell which is far more hotter and this is all small discomforts, uh, small potatoes as Apostle Paul says, uh, small potatoes compared to the eternal reward that we will receive and, and, uh, and what we will ultimately save them from. So we'll pray, uh, we'll pray together. Uh, I want to also take the camera from Dale because Dale also gave a few tracks. Uh, I'm so glad and uh, uh, we will, I request uh, Brother Benedict to lead us in prayer. Uh, so a short prayer yeah, and then we have this first, yes. Gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time that you have given to us with your servant, Brother Duke, and Lord Brother Roy, and Lord Son, Lord Dale. Thank you, Lord. It is not because of our abilities, but it is because of your grace and mercy, O oh God. Lord, as uh, Brother Duke rightly said, O oh God, help us to come out of the comfort level, and Lord, help us, Lord, to look to the world. And Lord, thank you for giving us an opportunity to come to the Second Republic Public School, and Lord, to distribute tracts. What a joy, O oh Lord, to distribute tracts. Oh, Father, we know, Lord, that the seed that we sow will not go in vain, but it will spring forth fruit in its own time. We thank you, we praise you. Bless Brother Duke and his ministry and enlarge this territory. Lord, bless Brother Roy, who is here, oh God. Bless him, bless his family. And Lord, come and give his life into your hands, oh God. Bless, Lord, Brother Dale, your child, oh Lord, as he's written his exams. Lord, we come in his future into your hands, oh God. May your grace, may your favor be upon him, oh Lord, and bless him, Lord. We thank you, we praise you. We pray this prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.